Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Uh, it's a honor for us, and uh, we want to present uh, PhotoChain, our project. Let's uh, take a look at the pictures. So we saw pictures, and these pictures are emotions, and these emotions uh, are brought by photographers, and it's the core, uh, core of PhotoChain, of our project. Uh, let me introduce uh, uh, ourselves and my team. You see we have, uh, we have a large team, but today we are speaking both of us. My name is Stanislav Stolberg. I'm an uh, applied physicist, but I work in, in financial industry, in IT industry for a long time. And I'm also a hobby designer. That's why I had this uh, idea of creating PhotoChain. And my name is Dylan. I'm a senior advisor here at PhotoChain. Um, I'm one of those more hands-on advisors, so not just a pretty face on the, uh, on, the, on the team page. And I joined PhotoChain after six and a half years at LinkedIn, where I helped them build businesses in Europe, in the Middle East. Um, so what attracted me, I think, about this project was just it's a laser-focused, decentralized application. It's disrupting one industry, and they've got a working prototype. So that's extremely rare uh, in this industry. Yes. And uh, maybe I just go... Uh, to the problem what we are trying to solve. So the uh, main core is to give power back to the contributor. With power, I mean revenue back. Because uh, if you look at photography stroke market now, uh, this market uh, gives only a little or shares only a little uh, revenue from the transaction to the photography. And on average, 23%. Then uh, for photographists, it is not possible to set own prices. Uh, because of this intermediary. Uh, then uh, you don't have real licensing, so you have licensing in, in, in company of the photography, and payout periods are one month, so it's a real great, a real big payout period. And uh, here we come with our solution, so based on a token economy, we will uh, achieve a revenue uh, uh, until 95% of the photographist, uh, because we are create a marketplace uh, to, uh, co uh, to collaborate between uh, photographers and uh, the buyer of the photography directly without intermediaries. Then, of course, uh, uh, the possibility to make own pricing. Uh, then uh, another use case uh, is to uh, create a, a licensing on the blockchain to make a connection between the name of photographers and the picture he made to make a spe uh, through special mathematical algorithm, uh, so-called p-hash. Uh, uh, it's uh, then it's identified with the photographies and with this picture, and then it will be stored on the blockchain smart contract, different smart contract, and of course it's uh, instant rewarded uh, by tokens. Maybe I will switch uh, pass to Dylan. Yeah, sure. So um, another thing that is a business person attracted me to this project is the sheer size of the market. So it's currently a $3 billion market annually. Um, it's growing extremely fast. It's expected to double by 2020. And what's interesting about this market is it's dominated by four or five centralized competitors. So you've got the likes of uh, Getty Images, Shutterstock, and so on. And because they dominate this industry, they control the pricing, they control everything, and that means that a very tiny fraction of that revenue is actually trickling down to the actual photographers themselves. So this really is an industry that's ripe for actually disruption and a perfect use case for decentralization, disintermediating those companies and putting the power back to the hands of the participants and to the, the, the platform itself. So if you skip on. So yes. Uh... And this is where a photo chain would fit into this ecosystem. So um, there's a matrix there just of the cost um, of the license compared to the earning potential for the photographers. And with PhotoChain, what we find is because we're actually disintermediating a lot of the unnecessary centralized architecture, we can give a very, very cheap license to our clients, and we can also give um, the bulk of the revenue back to the, the photographers themselves. Yes. Uh, thank you, Dylan. Uh, basically, uh, you see here the high-level overview uh, how the ecosystem should work. So we are based on two FED protocols. It's uh, one IPFS network, and the other is a public Ethereum network. And you see uh, a contributor and a buyer, 
and uh, these both counterparts interacting, uh, which uh, which is other over these networks using our <laughs> application as a uh, syn application over these uh, two networks. And uh, yeah, since I'm physicist, this part I love uh, at most. It's a little bit complicated, but it shows uh, the architecture of our uh, application. So you see basically a uh, you see basically a client here. Uh, this client has uh, some modules uh, which are necessary for our laser focused use case because we don't uh, want to spread or uh, solve problem of the world. We just want to focus on one use case. It's a still image photography. It's, it's uh, difficult enough because you have, uh, for example, pornography and uh, this kind of stuff that you have to, uh, to cut off because this <laughs> platform is highly automated. And you see the uh, communication between um, IPFS network and, uh, of course, Ethereum network because this is also a trading platform. Maybe you can just imagine a torrent, like normal torrent, and you search in this torrent uh, for hmm? one minute. Oh, one minute. Oh, uh, very important, uh, very important stuff. Uh, sorry for the timing. We have a running demo which already is deployed on uh, this both networks, uh, and, uh, on Ethereum testnet and on uh, IPFS. So we have a run node of IPFS, and we just want to show maybe Raphael can help us. Yes, Raphael. Yes, uh, you see uh, this is native uh, React as application. It's executed directly in your browser uh, as application layer. And for example, search for an image, for example, Apple, or what do you want? It's very fast because it's, al it's already it's one downloaded to your browser and it's executed there. Only the pictures are coming from IPFS. And for example, click on uh, some image you want to buy uh, uh, then uh, on add to cart, check out. Then uh, you see you buy a picture for uh, 95 photons. It's our token. Okay. Uh, so yes. I should um, uh, ask you to switch to the questions. Okay. Thank you for showing the platform as well. Thank you. Yes. So, you <laughs> yes. Yeah, maybe. Go to the question part. So, um, jury members, do you have any questions? Are you impressed uh, with the images of Apple? Um, no, I'm impressed of the idea because it's simple, it's uh, reachable, uh, and it's um, we we see a lot of ideas what we can imagine in the next ten years, uh, and this is something what we can see in a few months. I have the feeling. So. Yes. Probably you don't need money, or you don't need an ICO, you already got the platform. Or uh, it's not uh, really true, this is an only uh, prototype, ah, okay. because here you see uh, the view of the buyer. We don't have the view of the photographer with upload and function and so on. For this we need, of course, a serious development, no. it's not so easy. But after our ICO, which, is start, uh, which starts at uh, 25th of March, so in several weeks, uh, after this, we need some um, kind of six months to develop the first version of this application. So it's really laser focused on this one use case. May I, may I ask the, yes. the numbers of the ICO? What are you aiming for? So we are looking for uh, 15 uh, to 19,000 ITER. So I, I, I speak in ITER because I uh, don't speak in this fiat. Trans uh, but the fiat is more interesting uh, because uh, the ESA could change very much in the next month. This is, uh, this is true, but... Uh, yeah, we are just an uh, ICO project and we want to raise uh, cryptocurrency. Yeah. Hmm? Depending on the Ether exchange it's, rate. It's depending on the Ether, it's and the volatility. To, yeah, I would say 15 to 17 uh, million dollar. So, uh, and you're going to spend 15 million in six months to build the platform? Okay, but both of us know that if you got 15,000 ITER, it's not equal to 50 million dollars. Because, uh, for example, uh, to pay uh, some agencies, you have to cash out some, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an ongoing process. We, of course, don't spend this whole ITER at one time, but we have to 
to make a lot of marketing because our vision is to make um, a mass adoption. If you use this prototype, you can go to our landing page and use this, and you see that it's already deployed on this both networks. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, uh, one more question. Okay, one. Sorry, so uh, I just. Are you sure? Maybe we can take two. So obviously there is a big ICO with Kodak recently. How would you mm. compare yourselves with them? And <laughs> all right, okay, great, great minds, right? Well, thank you. I could I could start answering that with one word, which would be they're centralized. So they're never going to decentralize and disintermediate themselves. Their motivations and their alignment are completely not aligned with the the ecosystem. Uh, maybe you can elaborate. Yes, of course. Uh, it's about uh, Kodak coin. Or what 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 was Kodak the question? Coin. Kodak coin. So, uh, uh, honestly, if you go to Kodak site, you don't see a white paper, you don't see a product, you, don't, you see nothing, only marketing. And uh, we have already running a prototype. So you can go and just check out and you see that we can deliver the technology. And it's about, so we are, as I said, laser focused and we want to deliver as soon as possible and to uh, create a mass adoption. And I think the important thing as well is you know you've got a market when the big incumbents are actually you know, moving in the same direction as us and we've got almost a 12 month lead so it's quite an exciting place to be. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the chain. Thank you. Big applause Thank you. to you.